All right, run it. What's up, everyone on YouTube? It's your boy, Starboy Dads, and I'm back with another video. And as you guys can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I'll be doing a how to style on a New Balance 550. I have been rocking this sneaker a lot lately, and I feel like it's only right that I show you guys how and some of the fits that I have been rocking with these. To get things started, I wanted to go over this first outfit. This is one of my go-to outfits if it's just like a chill or maybe like a run in errands day. I like to throw on a simple graphic tee and some shorts. So for the top, we have this Billionaire Boys Clubs tee. This is just a minimalistic tee with the iconic astronaut on the front, along with NYC in the black. Moving along, we have on a pair of gray sweat shorts. Hands down, some of the most comfortable shorts for the hotter days, as well as a good looking pair of shorts to emphasize the sneakers. Let's keep things moving with another outfit, but this time we have the maroon pair of 550s. For this outfit, I wanted something different from everything I usually wear. So up top, we have this basic white tee, as well as a tan button-up shirt. On the topic of rocking different things, I had this shirt for over a year and never wore it. I definitely feel like it's a good piece for the fall with a nice colorway, as well as a good fit. Moving right along, I paired it with the 505 Levi's, a little unique with the paint splatter all over. I feel like this right here gives these pants more of a streetwear aesthetic. Let me know what do you guys actually think down below. I actually think it's a good Sunday fit low key. Next outfit up, it's been a little chilly lately, so you already know a good sweats fit is a must. But up top, I decided to throw on a BBC tee from the first outfit and pair it with this fire thrifted jacket. Coincidentally, both of these pieces says is dedicated to NYC. I guess NYC is just a place to be. I love this jacket because honestly, it's super comfortable as well as a back graphic. It's just so fire in my opinion. I love when the jacket has some dope designs on the front and the back. And what makes this jacket more appealing to me is the back graphic. I feel like with the back graphic right here that you guys see, the skeleton on the motorcycle, I feel like this right here is just too clean to pass up on. This piece right here was actually like five bucks from the thrift, which I feel like is a good deal. Then moving down, I threw on these black sweatpants from PacSun. Not the best. Materials aren't the best, but the colorway is good and it gets the job done. And to finish things off, I went with the green 550s. This is my favorite outfit, especially for the fall. I feel like all the colors just fit in perfectly. Up top, I have on this thrifted rugged earth tee. Personally, I love the topaz colorway as well as how simple the front graphic is. But the back graphic is super nice and this right here is what really attracted me to this shirt. The back has a faded graphic as well as a cracking graphic. That right there gives off that vintage look. The colorways are still pretty vibrant with that gold and that green. And this tee just works with a lot of my sneakers. Moving down to the shorts, I have one as Minimal LA shorts. Not sure the name, I picked these up when Minimal LA was first popping off. And honestly, these pants right here, just all black sweat shorts with a hit of gray. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. And it just kind of gives off a different look when it comes to the shorts. And I paired it with the Burgundy 550s. I think all the colors complement each other well.
moving on to one of my most affordable outfits in today's video this right here is just under 30 bucks super affordable and clean in my opinion up top i have one this thrifted uniglo hoodie this is a sweat pullover one it retails at 40 bucks but your boy was able to scoop it up for eight at the thrift you already know the vibes as well as the cargos the cargos i got from target this is the green colorway from wrangler a mix of brown and green very dope almost the perfect colorway for some cargos these cargos right here were just 20 bucks and for the sneakers we did go with the burgundy joints for that pop of color Switching it up for this outfit right here, I wanted to go with something different from all the usual athleisure outfits with these sneakers. So up top we have on this black denim jacket from H&M, a little oversized as well as this cream tee from H&M's blank staple line. I tend to rock this tee a lot, at least three times out of the week. I feel like it's just affordable and the materials are just great. For the pants, we have on the Vans Chino pants, really nice fitting chinos, more on a straight size. So this right here is gonna work perfectly with bulkier sneakers. And to end it off, I got on the green 550s. Moving on to the last outfit in today's video, this is actually a bonus fit. I wasn't even gonna throw this in there, but I feel like it's just super clean and minimal. I feel like it was just worth it. But for the top, we did throw on this Heather Gray tee from H&M's Blake Staple line. I did say I rocked eight tees at least three times out of the week. Didn't say what colorway though. Then moving on to the pants, my favorite jeans, of course, the 501 Levi's. This right here is just in that raisin wash. I feel like this right here is just the perfect color. It's like that faded, aged, and vintage look. And if you guys want a perfect pair of black pants, I feel like this right here is definitely the move. Then for the shoes, of course, green 550s for that pop of color. right there is going to end today's video off comment down below how you guys rock your 550s and which fit was your favorite from this video smash the like button for me as well as hit that sub button you already know join the family get notified whenever i drop a video by hitting that bell and with that being said i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace